Hello everyone! In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to knit a Reglan sleeve sweater for a child. Ready to go! To get started, I will cast on 60 stitches and I will use two needles to make loops bigger. Count again how many stitches you have. If you have 60 stitches, just remove the needle and then carefully move stitches to the other end. Make sure they are not twisted. And for the first round, Purl two, and knit two. And then I can just repeat purl two. And need to and then I will just continue pearl two knit two to end of the round and the end of my first round need two last stitches. And then just continue again second round, pearl two, knit two, to end of the round. I worked eight rounds of the ribbon, pearl two, knit two, and now I will just knit all stitches to end. For the tenth round, I will work one increase first. So I will use my base chain and I will pick up one chain. So just work one knit stitch. So that is one increase. And that way you will not develop a hole. One increase and then just knit 15 regular way. One, two, three and so on. Here is my starting point and here is my first increase. So I worked two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen knit stitches. So knit one more. And now I will reuse base stitch. So with the help of a right needle, pick up that base stitch and place it on the left one. And then just pick up one chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. So again, I will repeat. So this is my last chain. I will use base chain. So I will place it to the left needle and then just grab the yarn and pull it through. So one increase and then I will make right away second increase. 
So again, base chain, base stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through. So I increase two stitches and then just work again 15. One, two, and so on. After I increased the two stitches, I again knit 15 stitches and now I will work the increase again. So base chain, place it to the left needle, grab the yarn and pull it through, and then again. Second increase, and then I will again knit 15 stitches. After the increase, knit 15 and again increase 2 stitches, last time. 1 increase, second increase and again knit 15 to end. At the end of the round work 1 increase, just 1 stitch. And then for my 11th round, just like for my 9th round, just knit all stitches to end. At the end of 11th round, just knit last increased stitch. And you should have 68 stitches because you increased 8 stitches. So for my 12th round, I will increase 8 stitches again. So again, one increase, use base stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through. So this is one increase. Then I will knit 17 and in the last used chain, base chain, I will work one increase again. After I increased one stitch at the very beginning of my 12th round, I knit 16 stitches, knit one more, 17th stitch, and then in the base chain stitch, just increase one, and then again in the following base stitch, increase one, and again knit 17, increase 2 stitches, knit 17, and so on to end of the round. At the end of my 12th round, after I knit less 17 stitches, again use base stitch and increase one less stitch of the round, and then I will knit increasing 8 stitches every other round. So all my odd rounds like 13th, 15th, 17th, I will knit all stitches to end and for my 14th round I will increase 1, knit 19, increase 1 and so on to end of the round. For my 16th round I will increase 1, knit 21 stitches and then one increase to end of the round. For my 18th round I increase one, then knit 23 stitches, increase one to end of the round. That's what you should have so far. Nineteenth round. Instead of knitting all stitches to end, I will work the pattern a little bit differently. So knit one and then just purl 23, knit one to end. For my 20th round I will work increase as usual, just increase one stitch and then I will knit 25 
and then again one increase to end of the round. At the end of my 20th round I will work last increase. And for my 21st round I will knit one, then purl one, knit five, And then again just repeat, purl 1, knit 5. Here's my starting point and I started the first part with knit 1, purl 1, knit 5 and purl 1, knit 5 I repeated 4 times, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now I have two stitches left of this first part. So purl one and knit one. And then again just repeat the process. Again, knit one, purl one, the same as you started this first part. So knit one, purl one, knit five. And then again two last two stitches of the part. And then again purl one, knit one. So that way I will continue to end of the round. That's what you should have so far. And for my 20 second round I again will work one increase then knit 27 and then again increase and so on to end of the round that's what you should have so far and for my 23rd round I will knit one then purl one then again knit one, purl one, knit three, one, two, three, and then purl one, right above that purl stitch, knit one, purl one. And then again knit three and repeat purl one, knit one, purl one, and then knit three and so on. I repeated knit one, purl one, knit three, purl one four times. So one, two, three and four and now I have three stitches left of this first part just right above that purl stitch knit one purl one and knit one 24th round again I will increase one Knit 29 and then increase 1. That way I will work to end of the round. 25th round I will knit 1 and then we'll do the repeat. Purl 1, knit 3, then purl one knit one and I will do that five times so I will repeat five times so it's one time so four more times purl one knit three purl one knit one 26 round will be the round of increases usual so increase one 
knit 31, increase 1 to end of the round. 27th round. I will knit 1, purl 1, and then knit 5. Then again I will just repeat purl 1, knit 5, and then when I have two less stitches of the first part, I will purl 1, knit 1. Then again I will start my new second part, knit 1, and then purl 1, knit 5, purl 1, and so on. For the 28th round, work the increase again, so increase 1, knit 33 stitches, then increase 1, and so on to end of the round. 29th round, I will knit 1, purl 1, and then I will knit 1, Purl one again, knit three, purl one, and then again I will repeat knit one, purl one, knit three, purl one, four more times. After my last repeat, knit 1, purl 1, knit 3, purl 1, you should have 3 stitches left. So just knit 1, purl 1, and knit 1. And then work the same. Knit 1, purl 1, knit 1, purl 1, knit 3, purl 1, and so on. Thirty round, I will increase again one, and then knit thirty five, increase one, and so on to end of the round. Thirty first round, start uh, each part with knit one, and my repeat for the round will be. Purl 1, knit 3, and then again, purl 1, knit 1. So I will repeat 6 times in each part that repeat. 30 second round, I will work increase as usual. 1 increase, knit 37, 1 increase, to end of the round. 33rd round, knit 1 as usual. And my repeat for the round will be purl 1, knit 5. And then purl 1, knit 5, I will work to two less stitches of each part, and then I will just purl one, knit one. Thirty fourth round, again increase, and knit thirty nine, one increase, to end of the round. Thirty fifth round, knit one, Purl 39 and then again knit 1 to end of the round. I started the pattern with the purl round and I finished the pattern with the purl round. So I will do less time increase. 36 round, just usual way. Increase 1, 
Need 41 increase 1 to enter the round. Now I will join my back and front part together. So I will knit all stitches of my back part and slide all stitches of my first shoulder part on a safety pin. Then again will continue knitting my all stitches of the front part and then again will slide all the stitches of my second shoulder part on a safety pin. And also I will use shorter circular needles. So I will use this first, I mean last uh, stitch of the second shoulder part. And then we'll just knit all stitches of the back part to end. So I need all the stitches of my back part and now I will need one extra stitch of my first shoulder part. All the rest stitches I will slide on a safety pin. After I have slid 41 stitches on the safety pin I just have one stitch remaining of this shoulder part, so just knit it with the stitches of the front part. And the end of my front part, knit one extra stitch of the second shoulder part and then slide all the rest stitches on a safety pin again. That's what you should have so far. And now knit the 90 stitches without increasing or decreasing them. After you knit the desired length of the sweater, Decrease two stitches. Knit two stitches together on one side and knit two stitches together on the other side. To have 88 stitches in total. Because for the ribbon you need multiples of four stitches. And then just knit two stitches, purl two stitches, knit two stitches, purl two stitches in the round. To cast off, knit two stitches together. Then slide the stitch from the right needle to the left one. And then again repeat the process. Knit two stitches together. And then again slide it back. And so on. That's what you should have so far. And now just... Cut the yarn and secure it with this chain. To work the sleeve, I slid all the stitches from the safety pin on the double pointed needles, attached the yarn, and now in order not to develop a hole on the arm, I will pick up two stitches. So one and second one and then I will just continue knitting in the round and also every four rounds I will knit two stitches together to decrease one stitch. So every four rounds knit two stitches together, knit two stitches together, just uh, one time, one decrease on the arm, and then I will just work 
zarebenegenitu stitches together, proto stitches together, and cast off all the stitches. After you finish the sleeves, the sweater is ready, and thank you for watching the tutorial.